Hello, welcome back to my outdoor bench build series. In this video, I make this tail end mox and vise. From some 12mm ply I add in my workshop and a few pounds spent on nuts and bolts. I built this bench so that the small right hand end could be demountable and therefore be interchanged with other bench tops or accessories. I wanted somewhere where I could chisel and cut effectively something that had a little bit more mass than the MDF and something where I could clamp an old materials down. So I decided to build this end from 12mm plywood. This plywood is what I used to set out the garden obelisk when I made it last year. And the first thing I needed to do was cut out multiple strips. One piece slightly larger than the outside rails on the bench and the rest of them slightly smaller. I figured if I laminated enough hardwood plywood together I would end up with a really dense worktop. And once I got these strips cut to size the smaller inner piece just needed to be notched around the top of the workshop bench. And the notches cut away with my handsaw. And once that piece was fitted, I then could insert it into the hole, apply some glue and laminate the first piece. These two pieces combined effectively mimic the piece that I've just taken away from this bench. Using my bench bars, a couple of clamps and a couple of waste pieces, I just held this down temporary until I could get a better fix. The better fix was enabled by me grovelling under the bench and inserting two screws. I could then remove the plywood, flip it over and get some proper clamps on it. All these laminations were done over a few days in and amongst building the infill panels that I made in my last video. The very end piece was the next piece to be laminated. And again, as well as the clamps, I inserted a couple of screws. All these screws were taken out before I laminated on the next piece. Once I got to this stage, I could cut the next pieces of lamination. The next piece to be laminated was the top that overhung the rest of the top. So to make sure I didn't stick it down, I surrounded the area with tape before I commenced. Then added some weight and let it set overnight. And finally, just so the top was really heavy, I laminated two more pieces underneath. By the time all these laminations had been added, some of the edges weren't very crisp and a little bit out of kilter. So to level everything up, I put my trim piece in my new infill panel and then ran the top around this bit. For this groove here, I just had to poke out a build up of shavings before I could continue with the routing. I had a little bit of glue squeeze out to sort with my chisel before I could finalise the rest of the routing. And then of course the corners just needed squaring out. Once that was done I just ran my palm router with a chamfer bit around the extremities and then it was a case of dropping the top in the space. Well it would have been, it didn't fit. I'd actually overrun the edge with my plywood build up and had to remove three quarters of an inch of plywood on the lowest part of the top. But this was easily sorted. You will see as we go through this video it wasn't the only issue I encountered. For now the top fitted and we can move on to the next part of the build. The first thing I did next was to turn the bench round so you guys had a better camera angle of what I was going to do. Using a piece of inch by three which I cut to length and just took the corners off the lower section I marked out for what would be the inner cheek of the Moxham vise. This inner cheek needed two half laps or just actually slightly deeper than half laps to fit over the two prongs that sit out at the end of the bench. These little cantilevers just tie the entire bench top together, making everything stable. And once this fitted, 
The next stage was to mark out the dominoes I was going to insert to tie these two pieces together. Here I'm using two rows of 5mm dominoes. Apply some glue on the dominoes. Tap it home, apply some clamps and leave it to dry. And whilst it dried, it just gave Stripe and I the opportunity to discuss why 42 is the answer to the life, the universe and everything. 10 minutes later, Stripey was really pleased that it was quick drying glue. Right, let's insert the bolts that actually tie this thing together. I marked out the holes that coincided with the inserts that was already in the other end of the workbench. Drilled an hole with my pilot bit and then enlarged it with a 6mm bit and then inserted the bolts. The next stage is to make the outer face of the Moxham vise. And like the inner piece, it's made from a piece of inch by 3. Now the Moxham vise was going to work with an 8mm, 100mm or 4 inch long bolt and I needed to plan where these were going to go. I decided I was going to sink the holes for these bolts with my domino. So I needed to swap my domino out for the 8mm cutter. This was the first time I'd changed the cutter on the domino, a tool that I'm still trying to figure out. So once I was certain I knew where all the hardware needed to be, it was just a case of making six plungers. Two in the rear cheek of the Moxham vise and I made these as deep as I could. Two in the front face, these holes needed to go straight through the piece and I ensured I had my fingers well out of the way when I did so. And lastly, two pieces straight through the top, vertically, and I used a board clamped to the face of the bench to reference these cuts from. The plan was the domino holes would meet up between the top plungers and the side plungers. In reality, the two plungers were just slightly short of each other, so I had to just ream them out with a 6mm drill bit. So the last thing I needed to do before I could fit the bolts was just to drill into the bend the 4 inch so my bolts could be fully widened in. And at this stage I was starting to realise that the 4 inch bolts probably weren't quite long enough. I would have been better with 6 or maybe 8 inch long bolts. I would have also needed a longer drill bit. Now I decided that I would like a series of dog holes down the bench top and instead of a series of 20mm holes I thought I'd have a go cutting the dogs with the domino. I've never seen anyone do this on YouTube, maybe it's a first. If you think it's a good or bad idea let me know in the comments. So I needed a couple of knobs for the front of the Moxham vise. So rather than buy some, I thought I'd make some out of just some scrap wood. So I cut two discs out on the pillar drill and then sanded it smooth. And then with the bobbin sander, just rotated the piece round and sanded in some knurls. I then opened up the central hole to 8mm, holding my knob in a clamp. And then to sink the bolt head, just mark round it and cut it out with the chisel. The bolts were glued into the knobs with some 5 minute 2 part epoxy and I ensured I would almost driven the bolts home before I applied it so I didn't get the glue all over the threads. 
and whilst the glue set, I gave the bench a sanding up and took the sharp edges off the outside of the outer face with my block plane. Time to fit the Moxham vise. The idea was to drop these washers and nuts inside the domino and then turn in the threaded bolt. Just a little bit tricky to locate the nuts, so I had to prise away with my chisel to align it. This is why I never have any decent chisels. It was a little bit fiddly, but we got there in the end. Now I had a little bit of an issue of not being able to tighten the vise up fully because the nuts were spinning round on the edge of the bolts. And he initially wanted to pump this with two part epoxy, but then I knew the threads wouldn't work. So I came up with the idea of tightly cutting the domino around the nut to stop it spinning. So I marked them out, rushed up into the workshop and cut them out on the bandsaw. Applied some glue and drove the dominoes to sit tightly around the nut. And this actually works. Once the glue had set, I trimmed the excess off with my trim saw and sanded it smooth, as well as sanding the face of four dominoes just to ease them into the dog holes. Okay, so if I made this bench again, there are a few things wrong that I would like to address. Firstly, the bolts are too short. Secondly, the bolts are probably too high up, so the knobs are above the height of the work table, which is probably not a big deal here. And lastly, I just probably needed to spend a bit more money on maybe a 10 or a 12 millimeter bolt, just there were actually a bit more substance to it. But what I like about this is it works. It's quite heavy, so it has the density I was looking for and it was cheap. I think the whole thing cost me change to buy the nuts and bolts. Anyone who's watched Ron Polk's series about his bench will have seen how it's evolved over time. Now I'm not saying I'm Ron Polk here, but should I want to build myself another bench, it will be vastly improved from this version. I will use this bench for the rest of the summer and maybe come back later in the year on my reflections of what's good, and what's bad and what can be improved, or the positive and the deltas. Oh, and by the way, this 5 minute epoxy takes about 5 hours to set and it stayed tacky for ages. Here I am, well after filming the rest of it, just sanding off the knobs. Thank you for watching this series of my outdoor bench build. I still have some ideas of how I want to develop this, but maybe the summer will run out before I get time. I hope it's been some use to you. Thank you for watching and goodbye.